So this young lady on YouTube, shout out to her. But this is not part of the story. This is this is like a segue into the topic that we're about to get into. She sits in her car. She's a truck driver, but I'm not sure she's driving trucks right now because her YouTube page is kind of like all over the place as far as what she wants to talk about. Sometimes she talks about trucking. Sometimes she talks about mental health. Sometimes she talks about relationships. So it's it's pretty much a, a mixture. Yeah, it's pretty much a mixture of everything. She's another one of those truck drivers that she started talking about trucking, but somewhere down the line, she changed her content up. Like a lot of us did. So we started out talking about trucks and this, that, and the third about trucks, but we just changed it over and want to do something else like my channel is a whole conversation channel now at least that's what i call it anyway i know some of you guys out there still say well lockout men is a trucking channel well thank you but i i don't consider it to be but thank you for that it's a very informative channel for me oh awesome well thank you very much for that so my channel touch on different topics and it resonates with different types of people. So I, I appreciate that very much. So she's in her car. She's talking about doing Uber and Lyft. It sounds as though she she talks about her morning and how it worked out for her. Now she's about to do the afternoon rush hour. And she want to see how that works out. Five o'clock evening rush in um, with Uber today, Uber and Lyft. So my Uber is activated. So you want to see how the evening rush is to make money. I don't know if it's going to be any more hectic than the five o'clock, the morning rush, but we're going to find out today. Another truck driver that's on YouTube, a former truck driver, she used to do Uber and Lyft as well, but that's a whole nother subject with her because she's going through a whole bunch of stuff. So, but Uber and Lyft though, right? I, I used to do Uber and Lyft back in the day. I'm not gonna cap, the money was good back in the day. I don't know how it is now. I, I'm just going by a whole bunch of posts that says the money ain't good, the, the service is crap, and, and the people is just downright awful. And I get it. I, I know about the people. I I dealt with a few of them myself when I, I did Uber and Lyft and I hurried up and got out of it because some people get to the point of being too entitled. Like, yeah, you got to do that. No, no, you got to get out of my car. That's what you got to do. I'm not going to put up with that. And I, I don't think anybody that does Uber and Lyft should put up with with, with that kind of rudeness from a person that you don't even know that's that's in the back seat of your car thinking that you're you're their personal chauffeur right, <laughs> for right. that for that little minute but i'm just saying at least personal chauffeurs get paid well to take the type of entitlement that people give them not right. not an ordinary person that has their own car should take so right. so we're heading to a crazy story out of Austin, Texas, where a woman is accused of pretending or posing as an Uber driver. Oh, she shit. drugged and robbed the men that she was Ubering around. It says that she stole about $33,000 from the one credit card that she took off the dude. So the story. <laughs> hey, does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? So the story goes, a woman accused of posing as an Uber driver in downtown Austin, she is arrested. It says 41-year-old Destiny Connie Robinson is a, is a suspect in at least two incidents that took place in Austin's entertainment district. The first happened August 6th, 2023, which was last year, when a man got into the vehicle and he thought he was in an Uber. She offered him some water that was open. 
Like, let me stop the show. Like, bro, you, you're you going to drink out of an open container from a stranger? Yeah, right. We're not going to do that. She offered him some water, and it was open. You're like, yeah, you, you want some water? Bro was like, yeah, yeah, let me get, yeah, I'll, I'll drink after you. Like, really? Wow. I, I understand men are much more easier to succumb than women are these days. I, I hope a woman won't drink out of an open container after a man give it to her. Maybe maybe her female buddy, you know what I'm saying? But you, you're not going to take it from a stranger, right? Right. So he blacked out and woke up at home with no recollection on how he got there. God damn, she must have had some strong shit. He noticed, oh my God. he noticed his iPhone, cash, and credit cards was missing. He checked his bank account and found $11,000 in fraudulent transactions. Damn, she got on that bad boy quick. What's your thoughts on the first one? How she got information and everything from that credit card? How? How? Oh, wait, man. You can. Oh, okay. Well, I got it. well credit cards, you can just go into stores now, and people ain't checking your IDs no more. Not for a credit card. And there's a few stores that might still have some standards, but I'll say about 80% of the stores that you go to now, they they ain't checking credit cards, especially when you when you got stores that got self checkout. What, what what the self checkout gonna do? Like, then show your ID to the scanner or something like that? Nah, you just gonna stick the credit card in, and if it goes through, good. And if it don't go through, then the the person that stole the card will pretty much figure out that somebody turned the card off already. But these days, no, they're not they're not checking for IDs. Now, if the person is lucky enough to get with those type of credit card companies that reaches out to the to the stores and they're able to pull up the the videos and stuff like that, then yeah, that's how that they, they'll catch them. Or if an employee happens to be that one employee that says this person buying every pair of jordans off the wall with a credit card let me see that don't look right you know what i'm saying so you got you you got that type of employee that will probably call the cops and they'll come up there and 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 take over from i mean there. that's like that's like that's like um what is it what's the right word if if i go in there and i buy everyone uh if, you know every jordan off that's like what's the right word suspicious profiling. or nope profiling. okay profiling okay mm -hmm. okay i if i got it i got it you ain't gotta call the police what you know what i'm saying i i i got you but that's the only way that if your card comes up missing and somebody goes on an exuberant shopping spree then wouldn't you right. want that Karen to be that person? Do you want coffee? Who wants coffee? Uh -huh, right? So, That's so crazy. I, I know, right? So, again, 80% of the places don't. But if you was to go online and probably use that credit card online, and then stuff gets shipped to the house and all like that that requires a signature and all like that now i know some outlets requires the delivery driver to actually see the card that they use to pay for it i came across that but but yeah man yeah she 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 popped them for eleven thousand dollars for the first dude now as far as somebody taking a cell phone like i wouldn't understand how would they get access to the cell phone and what would probably be the point but if the guy is kind of knocked out i guess you can a lot of us use the fingerprint so i guess she just you figured out which finger it was well, usually it's the thumb but she was able to she was able to open up the phone and keep it open long enough before it automatically shut but hey i, I don't know i i don't think i would have took the phone i, I probably would just took the cash and the and, and the credit cards i guess but then again a lot of people don't keep cash on them either so but uh, but that was the first one the second one uh -huh. the second one happened when after visiting several bars on west six he was waiting for his uber to arrive he was waved down by the suspect and then got into her vehicle the suspect offered him a drink from an open container, which, of course, he accepted, which that was a dumb move. But then, reportedly, 
shortly afterwards he blacked out and has no memory of what occurred several hours he woke up on the side of the road more than 10 miles away from his hotel he was able to make it back to the room before passing out again several hours later he woke up and checked his bank account and his account was 30 24 thousand dollars in unauthorized purchase and transactions the detectives checked brooks the female night wolf wins they ballot cellular data records and determined that she was in the area of the crimes and businesses where the stolen cards were used to make unauthorized purchase so currently she is a resident of the travis county jail didn't take long to get her at all the first guy was eleven thousand. like wow and then the second guy was like 24 hey that's wow but out here with people trying to make a whole bunch of hustles so you got to be careful guys that big button to smile always tend to get you because i guarantee you if a guy waved you down and say hey i'm your uber i'm sure you will be checking your your cell phone and for the guys that that was calling the ubers just because you saw a big button to smile you you didn't think to check the the, the uber app to see who was coming to get you yeah right you just thought right off the rib like oh man this check out this big button to smile right here I'm about to get in here. You get in the car that you didn't check. Yeah, you check the license plate. Right. You get in the car that you didn't check, and you drinking from an open container from a stranger you don't know. Right. So, driver, whose fault is that? We already know that the lady is is paying for her crimes right now. But still, is it the fault of the two gentlemen that got in the car without even doing their due diligence on who they getting in the car with? That's that, that right there is like, you know, people should know better. God dang, don't be so damn naive and stupid, you know? Especially the ones that be party going too. They don't pay attention. They be so damn looking up and all this other stuff. Ooh. I, I think that's what it was. I think they was drunk. And of course, when you're drunk, again, you're not going to pay attention to details. You call for Uber. If it was a male, then they would have checked the credentials. But being that this is a big button to smile, yeah, it's a case of, uh, can't trust a big button smile. They, they didn't bother to check. They was like, oh man, this fine female right here about to give me a ride home, yada, yada, yada. And then you get in the car and she offers you something to drink. Like, sure, I'll, I'll take it. And you look at it and don't even pay attention that it was, that it was open. Like, who does that? Women women nowadays sitting at a bar and the gentleman goes over to the bar and gets you a drink. Sometimes the women go with him. Yeah, I'll go with you to get that drink. Yeah, what are you having? That's crazy. I, would, I, I learned my lessons from that because um, when I was um, in my, what, 20s or whatever, and I went out for the first time, and I had an open drink, and I thought I was drinking pretty good, and something just told me, hey, go to the bathroom. And I was I was messed up. So on my, my drink, I, I woke up, I didn't even know where I was. All my, all, yeah, all my personal items that was on me, it was gone and stuff. <laughs> Jade wins. They ballot Man, that happened to you too? How long ago? How, well, you said this is in your 20s, so this is like years ago. But what happened? You 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 just happened to go out on a date or or it's just, it, or it was random? I just went out on my birthday. Yeah, I went out on my birthday. So you went out on a date on your birthday? You went out by yourself? On your birthday. I went by myself. Oh, okay. And this happened and this happened at a bar? Yep, a club. Wow. 
so you so so you so you blacked out inside of the club like what now no 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 I, I felt ill and i went to the bathroom and i you know hurled like that in the stall so you would think that probably one of the females came in there and just took your stuff i don't know who i don't know i have no idea what was your how did they get inside the stall that's what i'm saying i know i locked it. i guess they broke it open broke it open and saw me slumped over or whatever so what, i don't remember i don't mm-hmm. so so was you taken to the hospital no, I was talking to home. a friend of mine that I met inside the club, and it was a you know one of the uh, drag queens, or whatever. And uh, they happened to not see me. I guess I don't know, but all I can re- recall is I'm in the back of a car, and they were talking to me at the same time, and I was still hurling. You you was able you to know? let you was able to tell them where you stay at so they can get you home. They knew where I sat. Oh, okay, okay, that that yeah. was good. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They you know it. Like we have stayed at, but it's kind of fucked up, you know, because you never know who who's out there lurking, trying to fuck something. I I talk about females in trucking and how they need to really be careful with what they doing out here and what they showing out here. So yeah, man. I wow. Never know. Yeah, you never ever know, man.